This is a uh, verse four, Second Peter three, verse four, and saying, "Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation." Read uh, verse three again, Bible show. Come, verse three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? That's you dudes who don't think the Lord is coming back. Uh, scoffers in the last days. Uh, you same niggas be talking about, oh, they've been saying we're in the last days. He still ain't come. You're fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. You are fulfilling biblical prophecy, man. You don't even know it. Okay. okay. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Yeah, you think you think it's just it's another day in earth. Mm -hmm. Everything is cool. You're like, damn, they said this was going to happen, but look at us now, man. Tomorrow, this is just a regular day. Now, boom, look at you now. You, you got quarantine for a year. You got to wear a mask. You got a mask. You got a jab getting pushed in your face. You got all these different things getting pushed, but it, it, it's not happening. Right. It's not happening. It's it, 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 it's just everything back to normal, right? Exactly. They're That's saying, the spirit. And they're always saying this is the new normal. This is the normal. This is the new normal. They're telling you. They're programming your mind, telling you this is the new normal. They're telling new. you you're not going back. Right. By telling you this is new normal. This is this is what you got to do now. That's a new world agenda. Yeah. If you don't listen to the words, you got to listen to the words Esau use, man. Esau always like to be, you know, crafty. snakes crafty with their tongue, man. Yep. You feel me? Always saying this is the new normal. New normal. Therefore, that lets you know you're not going to go back. You're not going to go back to how things were, man. You're never going back because this is new normal. You got to wear a mask. You got to get that jab. You're eventually going to have the show paper showing you got it. Then there's going to lead to the RFI. Shit, they're they already doing people. it now. Oh, yeah. Khan, in, uh, in Israel. Israel. Khan. Khan. In our land, man. They fucking up our <laughs> land. They got whole that whole a sodomite parade in, in our land. What the fuck, man? They're doing us dirty in our land. They're polluting our land. And they're going to get judged for that right. by the Lord and the angels and the elect, man, when they receive them spiritual powers, ultimately for doing that wickedness, man. Right, and notice how it said, like the brother said, man, where, where he was saying, they're saying, oh, is that that's the new normal, right? Huh. But notice how it said what? It says, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. So they think this is just a normal, mm -hmm. normal day. Mm -hmm. The signs of time is going to show you that shit is not normal as it used to be because back during the time of noah they weren't wearing quarantine and, and masks and well, shit like that I'm man wearing gloves doing social distancing so mm -hmm. that's how you know we're not that's how you know it's not normal it's not the same as when the fathers fell asleep that's how you know what the signs of the time the lord is coming back man come on you see but you do like it says verse five go ahead Mama, show me verse that. five for this for this they willingly are ignorant mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. That by the word of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Go ahead, keep reading. Verse, uh, so like here. Verse 6, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. That was the first death, Come. the flood. But then now Yahweh shall say, as in the days of Noah, so shall also be the days of the Son of Man. Come. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. Come. Verse 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Referring to the day when the Lord shoots off them nuclear missiles mm -hmm. and the fire from the chairs, man. Mm -hmm. the, right. uh, the, the thermonuclear IC, ICBM missile. That's man. right, man. That's going to be the second death, man. Uh, you see? But um, we, get, uh, we get to the next one. This is Matthew 24. And um, I'll start at verse... Um, 43 it says but know this that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh matthew 24 and 45 who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his lord hath made ruler over his household to give him to give them meat in due season see we're going to receive our reward our reward in due season man all right, but we have to first and foremost be that wise servant, man. We have to serve the Lord first. Verse 46, it says, bless, and shit, even Esau give you a lunch break. Now, you know, the devil, he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes you might have a job where, you know, you might not have time to go on a lunch break. But uh -huh. at the end of the day, you know, it burned the time of slavery. Esau still fed his slaves. But the Lord, so, so we're still technically the Lord's servants, his slaves, right? But the Lord, he going to take care of us. Esau is an unjust judge. 
and he and he took care of his slaves. How no? much more the Lord? How much more the Lord? Exactly for the righteous. Exactly. Uh -huh. It says, it says, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Meaning he's going to find him doing what the Lord told him to do. Verse 47. Verily I say unto you that shall make him ruler over all his goods. So we're going to inherit all things. Like we read earlier. All right. It says, verily, um, it says, but if that eat, but if, but and if that evil servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, meaning you treating the brothers badly. All right. It says, and to eat and drink with the drunken, meaning you're trying to go dibble and dabble back into the world, you're being unequally yoked with unbelievers, okay? Because our people are spirit, two thirds of our people are spiritually drunken, all right? It says, The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and an hour that he's not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Uh -huh. You see, so what's the point, though? It says, That evil servant says in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming, meaning y'all, I ain't coming back. So you're going to smite his fellow servants, meaning you treating the brothers wrong. You start to shit on brothers, man. You know, you're not being as brotherly as you used to when you first came in this thing. You want to go and be unequ unequally yoked unbelievers and stuff like that. You want to go back into the world, man. All right. Y'all is going to come at an hour that you don't expect him, man. Oh, like a thief in the night. Because you weren't watching. Uh -huh. And that's why your house is going to get robbed, man. And awesome. your house is going to get robbed. When the martial law troops come breaking through your houses too. Mm -hmm. That's second Ezra the 16th chapter says they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Mm -hmm. All right. Ravaging through your house, ravaging your women. Exactly. Your own children. Man. You see what I'm saying? Two thirds might rob you during Jacob's trouble. The scriptures say they shall be invading one another. Mm -hmm. Home invasions, man. I see man. a toddler get slapped with, get pistol whipped, man. Yeah. Yeah. A toddler, man. Yeah. Yeah. I thought get put to death like that. Yeah. It's a judgment, man. Yeah. And you know that toddler was, was wicked in the past why to get judged like that. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> and that did not the Lord say, um, because Hosea, let me get the let me get the scripture, okay? It's a it's a Hebrew Israelite classic right here. Alright? Hosea chapter four and verse six. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also will reject thee, and thou shalt be no priest to me. It says, seeing thou forgettest the law of thy power, I, I will also forget thy children. So if you truly care about your children, man, you will be getting right with the Lord. God. See what I'm saying? Now, hey, some brothers might have it to where their child might die. Feel, me, feel what I'm saying? But, hey, that's really a mercy killing. These upcoming times, you get God. put to death, really. God. See what I'm saying? So you can but, get put to death in the worst way, man. Exactly. That's the spirit. Because I was just about to say, but two-thirds of our people, you're going to know death by pain. God. See what I'm saying? The Lord might have a mercy kill. Take your child, you know, but that's mercy in a way. Uh, but two thirds, you gonna you gonna get sure. destroyed in pain in a painful way. Uh, you never know, your child could be on that leg. Man. Yep, calm. And he could just be the first one to meet you on the chair. Uh, you get on the chair, you see, you see, you see your jet, man. Yeah, exactly. Man. <laughs> you see your child, man. Exactly, exactly. But um, let me get the next scripture, Lord. Uh, you could uh, next one's with my song guitar. You got it. You could grab him. Amos nine. Calm. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, verse uh, 17, and it reads, Let us see if his words be true. Let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if, if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Right, and that's talk referring to you wicked elites. It says the wicked, uh, you know, thought in their minds, but not a right. Because when you read Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter from the top, it says the wicked thought of this in their mind, but not a right. But like it says, let us prove him. Let us see, if, you know, if the Lord is going to make good his word and so on and so forth. They don't truly believe the Lord is coming back. And, you know, and that's you wicked elites. Okay? That's what you're thinking in your mind. You want to come test the men of the Lord. You see? To see if the Most High really stepping for us. You know? But even two-thirds of our people come in that same spirit. Uh -huh. See? Because even they felt that way even about Yahweh Shai. Oh, uh -huh. he, 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 um, he healed everybody else. Let's see if he can save himself off the uh -huh. cross. You know, oh, prophesy unto us who slapped mm -hmm. you. See what I'm saying? Man. Two thirds come in that same spigot. Oh. Disrespectful, man. Yeah, hey, but no but, respect. Salakia. Yeah. Right. What is saying John 8? I think John 8 44. You of your father the devil. Two thirds be coming in the same spirit as Esau. Come, man. Come. See what I'm saying? But go ahead, up. Uh. Or, or Salakia, let me go. Uh, what was it? Amos 9? Yeah, Amos 9 and 10. All right. It says, all. Oh, I'll start at verse 8. Or Salakia. Yeah, 8. 
Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, and that's the Lord. He's going to gather his elect from all nations. So like as a corn, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Because in a sieve, you put the you put the, like the dirt, the corn, everything in there, mm -hmm. and you shake it out, and the contents that that doesn't get filtered out, that's what you that's what you gather up. So the elect is being gathered up from the rest of the filth of the world, so to speak, right? It says, yet shall not the least grain fall fall out the earth. So from the little littlest or the least member of the elect to the greatest member of the elect, it's all going to make it. Verse ten. Here's the point. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right, meaning what? You don't think that the Lord is going to make good on his word? Oh, the Lord ain't coming back. The evil is not going to overtake us nor prevent us, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to die by the sword, man. And it, tell, it tells you your judgment. It tells you your judgment, your judgment for you two-thirds of us that continue scoffing, that continue not believing that Yahweh Shah is going to make his return. That lets you know right then and there. What your judgment is going to be if you don't come back to Yahweh Hashem and Hashem and follow these laws commandments and repent. Right. Okay, that's your judgment. Ultimately, if you don't repent, man, you're going to be killed by the sword. You're going to die from a from a terrible death. You will die a death by pain. Man. Death by pain. See what I'm saying? Now, we can get that next one, Lord Will. Um, oh, yeah. It's a Z, uh, Ezekiel 9 and uh, 9. and nine. We have death for 9 and 1 and 2. Prom. I mean, 1 and 12. Prom. It's Ezekiel uh this is Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, verse 9, and it reads, Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. Both northern and southern kingdom. And the land is full of blood, and the city full of per per perverseness. perverseness. For they say the Lord hath forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. Meaning they don't think the Lord is, they think, oh, the Lord don't even exist. The Lord don't see what I'm uh. doing, da, da, da. Because you don't think he's, that's a part of you not thinking he's going to return. Uh, those are all demons, man. That's like, a, that's like that, that's that ideology of, of, of atheists, man. Yep. That's that atheist ideolo ideology, man. And like, you're going to come, Salakia, I ain't mean to cut go you ahead, off. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But you're going to come to find out that a lot of our people are atheists. Because uh. that's why y'all, so I said, when the son of man shall return, shall he find faith on earth? Because mm -hmm. atheists lack faith. Like uh, the guy, that guy, uh, he's a Jake, man. Neil, wait, I don't Neil Tyson DeGrasse. Yeah, he's a Jake. Like he's a Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's nah, a Jake. He's a Jake, man. He's an atheist, man. Proud atheist too, man. And he's always scoffing when it comes to scriptures, man. Always trying to say, you know, uh, 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 the Lord isn't real. Yahweh isn't real. But what really stumps him is because he thinks because bad happens in the world, man. He thinks if Yahweh was real, there would be no good or bad. But that just shows that he does not have understanding of the scriptures, man. Because having proper understanding of scripture, you will understand that the most high is both good and evil. It's balance. Right. And right. Zephaniah. Oh, no, 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 yeah. It's like you. Yeah. There was another one before that one. It's uh, Isaiah. Come. Fifth chapter. You want me to just read this while you look for that? I already got it. Oh, okay. So like you. So like you. Go ahead, huh? This is Isaiah, the fifth chapter, verse 12. And the harp and the vial, the tabret and pipe and wine are in their feasts, but they re regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. Theref Go Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are fam famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Mm -hmm. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth, with her, open her mouth without measure. Meaning a lot of people are getting put to death. Hell meaning the grave. Oh. So it says the grave is enlarging herself without measure. Meaning you're going to have a lot of like, dead people. 66.6% uh, .6 of our people, man. Right. And their, so like here, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. And the, me and the mean man shall be brought down and the mighty man shall be humbled. And the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. And Yahweh that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. Then shall the lands feed after their manner. And the waste places of the fat ones shall, shall strangers eat. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity. And sin as it were with a cart, a cart rope. That, that say let him make speed and hasten his work. That... We may see it. Oh, they've been saying God coming back. So when nah. he coming? 
Uh, Where he at? Uh, that's them saying, that's them saying, let him make speed and hasten his work. Uh, but don't worry, he's coming. Uh, like we read, uh, though it tarry, wait for it, for it will surely come, it will not tarry. Uh, even, I believe it was even after, after you know, after Yahweh shot down the cross, man, they were, they were hastening. It was like, when is he coming back? When is he coming back? And after a while, they're like, man, he's not coming back. He's not. They, they were doing this shit since back then. They were scoffing, man. But they yeah. didn't understand, you know, they didn't have the proper, well, full understanding of, of these scriptures, man, of what's to come, man. Uh, verse 19 that say let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the holy one of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it but if you are in the spirit you would see his work you would uh, know it but like we read in 2nd Ezra they don't know the Lord uh, they despise him mm -hmm. so he hid more. himself from them man uh, said something else here? no no I was just, well, I was just calm, calm. Uh, verse, uh, verse 20 what well, unto them that call evil good and good evil, that call that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, and well, unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Right, and that's our people, and that's this world too. You you stand for righteousness in this world, and they all oh, ain't weird. Uh, that's them calling uh, good evil. Uh, man, they say they say standing up for homosexual is being righteous. Man. That, that, that would be considered a righteous act, man. You would, you would get a you would get a medal on on, on this side of Nobel Babylon, Prize, a Nobel Peace Prize for, for standing up for the for, for for the sodomites, man. That's wicked, man. They make wicked good and yep. good wickedness. Yep. All right, so judging a, a, a stoning, you know, say you stone the fucking sodomite to death, man. That's righteous. But in this Babylon, side, they'll, that's a hate crime. You feel me? In Babylon, that's a hate crime, man. That's a hate crime. Talking, talking down on Amalek, saying Amalek is in the real Jews. They'll, what? They'll strike your, they'll strike your video quick. Speaking on Amalek, I ain't gonna get too much in this, but they'll strike us down. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sheesh. Gotta be wise, man. Might have to bleep it. Huh. Nah, I'm just kidding. Fuck you, Esau. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead, Oz. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, finish off on it. For dark, for the, uh, I'll read it. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So I'm saying that's what you do. This place is full of confusion, man. But we can get the next scripture when we're ready. Con, yeah, this is the last one. Oh, I had Zephaniah, right? Yeah, that's the last one. All right, Con. This is Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 12. It says, And it shall come to pass that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish. So the Lord, he's putting a light on everybody's work. He's exposing everybody. Mm -hmm. All right? He said he's searching Jerusalem with candles, man. It says, and punish the men that are settled on their leads, meaning the men that are supposed to be on their watch. He's gonna settle those who are. He's gonna punish those who are settled on their watch, because as a watchman, you're supposed to be alert, you're supposed to be watching, watching the signs of the times, watching the flock, so on and so forth. But you men, all right, who are being sloppy, you're settled on your leads, man. You're falling asleep on the job. It's like a guard gate person, and they falling asleep on the job. You know, it's like, damn, you're supposed to be up. You at the guard gate. You see what I'm saying? But nonetheless, the Lord is going to punish those type of men. All right, and not saying, and, I, and honest, I'm not saying, I'm saying in a spiritual sense, okay? Because your brothers might have a security job, you might be tired because we in the flesh, we get tired. You know, you might fall asleep on a security job, but does it make sense? Is a security job a job you're supposed to be falling asleep on? Uh, Shit, is any job? I won't say that because in Babylon you probably fuck around getting paid for sleeping, but you know what I'm saying? But like most of the time, a job you're supposed to be up, especially on a security job. So we are the watchmen. The Lord set us up as watchmen to watch over the flock. Uh, are we supposed to be sleeping right now? No. Uh, We're supposed to be up, man. Uh, be Spiritually. Watching. The scripture say what? It is now high time to awake out of sleep. Uh, For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. When we believe? Uh, We're supposed to be up and alert, man. Uh, you you know? be watching, man. You're getting ready to to, to, you know, we blowing those spiritual trumpets, man, telling you, yo, man, we, y'all boys, get ready, man. Strap exactly. up your boots. Gird, gird, gird up your, uh, uh, stem. Gird up your loins. Gird up your loins, man. Strap up your boots, man, because it's, it's about to get real loud here, man. Exactly. All right. It says, this Lord said, give them warning from me. Come. <laughs> because the Lord coming back to do judgment. Come. You see? And it says, it says, that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Basically, they don't think the Lord going to do anything. The Lord ain't, they, in their mind, they're thinking, the Lord ain't going to do a damn thing. That's them, the saying, that's them saying, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Hmm. Basically saying, he ain't going to do shit. Ain't yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, they don't even give him the benefit of the doubt to say he going to do good. All right, I'll give him, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt they say he ain't going to do evil. Because, you know, you guys say, oh, no, the Lord ain't going to do 
But they don't even think he gonna do good, man. man you just like that gonna be through, man. Cause when when Yahusha comes back, he's coming back angry. Mm -hmm. He's coming back angry. That same edge you had, keep that edge. Remember, Yahusha is a J. All right. No J gonna let you talk to that boy sweet like, oh, like it's all cool, it's all fun and games. Like you feel me? You never let no one disrespect you. You're disrespecting Yahusha. If someone disrespect you, what you gonna do? All right. Now think about what Yahusha gonna do. When he comes back angry. All right. Got a, a nice, pretty missile. What's your name on it? Right. <laughs> Shit, man. Shit. You so, better, you better, man. You you better hope you catch a missile before seeing you have a shot in that glorified body. But that is gonna be terrible, man. Fuck around, get 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 whipped with a chain. A spiritual one. A spiritual. Mom. <laughs> Thing probably be on fire. All oh, that. Fire, man, the Lord man. gonna zap you niggas with laser beams. Hey, man, the Lord is terrible, man. So all in all, man, fear y'all about Shmuel Shai. Repent because whether you wanna believe it or not. The Lord is coming back. Okay? Plain and simple, man. You got anything else you want to add before we close out, Aki? Nah, uh, anything you want to say in the spirit? Man, so-called Latino Native Americans and Negroes, you are the true chosen children of Israel. You are your Haobah Shah's chosen seed. He chose you by name. He made a covenant with you by name. He didn't choose nobody else but us, man. That is the, that's a beautiful thing, man. You need to come back for all these laws that you command us repent. All right? And, 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 and strive and hope to be part of that let number, man. Huh. Yeah. With that being said. Hey, so with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great Muslim of will. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Repent, man. Glory coming back.